Feifelder was involved in the Lake Brazos Dam uh, refurbishing project here in Waco. Uh, the Lake Brazos Dam is a low water dam that was constructed back around 1969 and uh, it was also re uh, refurbished in 1988. The problem with the old structure was that it was incredibly costly to maintain, uh, costing the city upwards of around $300,000 a year. And frequently they would have to lower the lake level so that the lake level was frequent, uh, often lower or, or was low more than it was full in some periods of time because of the maintenance issues with, with that dam structure. The uh, city contracted Freeze and Nichols out of Fort Worth to do the dam design and we were uh, contracted by Freeze and Nichols to do the ge geotechnical investigation. Uh, one of the purposes of our geotechnical investigation was to look specifically at part of this dam foundation with the view toward making a determination as to whether it could be reused in the new dam structure. Uh, not having to build this part of the foundation would save the city about $5 million in construction cost on the new structure. So Kleinfelder uh, went in with uh, drill rigs and we did uh, geotechnical borings through the dam foundation into uh, the, ro the material beneath which consisted of ro roller compacted concrete uh, on top of uh, bedrock. Um, we of course did standard geotechnical testing with this and as well as installing piezometers for uplift pressures on, on the dam structure. One of the key components of Kleinfelder's involvement with this project was to uh, examine the sliding potential for the, the dam structure. Uh, this was done by some uh, calculations uh, based on the weight of the structure, the weight of, of water pouring over the dam, and then the uplift pressures of groundwater underneath it. Um, this uh, modeling indicated that the, the dam would be stable under most uh, you know, foreseeable flow regimes. In addition, uh, Fries and Nichols contracted a group out of uh, Utah to build a scale model of the dam and to test the dam design under uh, laboratory conditions as well. Uh, the net result of all this was the reconstruction of this dam uh, with a weir type structure and um, uh, that eliminated any moving parts to, to the dam itself. Uh, so essentially the dam is maintenance free except for clearing the structure from time to time with, with driftwood that comes down the river. Uh, the result of this for the city is that we have a constant lake level now on Lake Brazos. Uh, this extends up through the center of town and is a key component of the urban corridor that is being developed uh, for downtown uh, um, or for downtown redevelopment. 